As a safety speaker, have you ever made an announcement as to where the fire exits are and how to get out of the building in case of an emergency? But more importantly, have you ever actually checked the route and know that it's clear? I'll tell you that the best emergency exit announcement I ever saw in my life was one of my introducers at a National Safety Council meeting. And what she did was she actually walked the escape route to verify, A, that it was clear and understandable. Uh, so that she wasn't just describing something, saying, go out the doors, down the stairs, and so forth, and having people end up in a corner and <laughs> you know, shoot her on fire. Uh, so that was pretty cool. I did one one time where I was speaking, and I actually went, and um, the, the, one of the exits over here, I opened these doors into the hallway at the hotel we were at. They had so much stuff in there, you couldn't have gotten out that way if you had to. And, and so it was a safety conference at a hotel, and. So I went ahead and made that announcement, and the manager of the hotel was in the room at the time. He was rather embarrassed, so um, they cleared it out later. But uh, but that's the kind of thing I think is important. That you know sometimes you have to tell people to check that stuff. Uh, I, I tell people to check the hallways in your hotel because if you're familiar, and this is one of those things. Remember I talked about mindsets and age and stuff. Um, the MGM Grant when it the fire in Las Vegas. Some of you are too young to even remember that or be aware of it. But there was a fire at the MGM Grand, which is now the Valleys Hotel in Las Vegas. At the time, it was the biggest hotel in Las Vegas. It's a joke now, it's much smaller. But at the time, they had a fire, and people went to the, the fire escape on their floor, and there was actually cement built up high enough that you couldn't open the door, which boggles the mind. How did the inspectors not catch that violation in the first place, and how did nobody in all the years the hotel was there ever complain, you can't open the door? But nobody did. And people got caught on that floor trying to get to the fire escape, couldn't, and died. So, um, so I tell people, I said, if you really want to trust your safety to somebody else, that might not be the smartest move.